Chinese Home Depot seeing its shares take off pre-market after posting record sales in the quarter. The company also raised its full year earnings outlook on that solid earnings report. There you're taking a look at some of the latest guidance as well. Total sales growth, 3%, margins 15.4% as well. Um, and particularly here, as we think about the guidance that they had raised as well, uh, they're looking for, particularly within the total sales growth and comp sales growth, that 3% figure, I think going on from here, they're saying fiscal 2022 is off to a strong start. And we'll see where this continues to permeate throughout the rest of the year. Too. Um, two notes for me about Home Depot. First of all, this was the first full um, earnings period with a new CEO, Ted Decker, at the head of the company. Um, note number two is that transactions fell, the number of transactions fell, but average ticket was up. So people spending more there, whether it's because of higher prices or because they're buying more stuff, uh, but they are going less often or fewer people are going however, whatever way you want to slice it. So that was sort of an interesting tidbit in there. Yeah, I would say uh, I, you see the par, uh, pre-market action up 3.7% mm -hmm. in the pre-market here, second hottest ticker on the Yahoo Finance platform. I thought it was a low quality beat. Uh, gross margins down, operating margins down. I think you saw the earnings come in a little bit better than expect here because they went out and repurchased $2.3 billion in stock. Another concern here, like we just mentioned, inventory up 32% uh, for Home Depot. And they noted that things slowed down a little bit later on in April. Now, the earnings call is going on right now. I'd be very curious to see how Home Depot sales have started here in May. They usually give that metric on the earnings call. If you are on there now, watch out for that metric.